When I was a kid, I grew up in Delaware, where it's just it's cloudy all the time. I didn't have that much exposure to astronomy, but my family, we went on a vacation to Utah, to Bryce Canyon, and we were just stopping. It was the middle of the night. We were driving through, and we just stopped in the middle of nowhere to use the bathroom. I looked up at the sky, and I just, I was speechless. I had never seen the Milky Way before. You know, I had never seen that before. And it just, it just amazed me. It just blew me away. And I think that's, you know, where my love of astronomy started. Well, this was a way for me to continue with my teaching talents just about once a week, you know, get out of the house, be a part of the community without breaking the bank. These are just uh, regular carpet drying fans from Walmart. My name is Lauren Ard. I'm the planetarium lady. <laughs> I need a couple of people to sit over here. Now we need to start going. So, yeah, you remember from last time. <laughs> Thanks for coming out, guys. This time is anime astronomy. This summer I've been doing anime astronomy and Harry Potter astronomy, Doctor Who, Marvel Comics. You know, there's all kinds of things that you can do that pop culture has connected to the stars and constellations. This is Taurus from Mega Man. He has fire powers, obviously, being made of fire. They may or may not like science, but you know that they love anime. So if you can get them in that planetarium, then they can realize that there's at least one aspect of science that they can relate to and embrace that they may not have been interested in before. The North Star, because it's right above the North Pole, it's going to stay in the same spot. Are you guys ready? You know, it's a new experience for them. Just being in a different environment than the, norm, the normal classroom environment can just turn on their brain to something that may have seemed really boring to them, just sitting at a desk in a classroom. Felt like I was right in the center of space. Like, I could just go up to the skies and touch them. I started doing some research and found out to buy a professionally made one of these. Cost about $12,000, which, you know, it was not in my budget. Do you guys remember the nickname for our galaxy? We talked about it last time. Yeah, the Milky Way. The first planetarium that I made was actually made out of two giant tarps from Home Depot. I cut them in big circles and then duct taped the edges together and left a hole to go in and a hole for the fan. And miraculously, it inflated into this big dome and I was able to show my kids the stars in that dome. And that first one cost about 75 bucks. I thought, well, if I made one before that fit 10 kids, surely I can just scale it up and make one that fit 30 kids. I love science. It's like mostly my favorite subject in school. So it's like awesome to be here and learn about the stars. Some people have actually asked if they throw money at me if I'll make them a planetarium. But honestly, I'm not. I'm not into it for making a planetarium, I'm into it for presenting to the kids, especially the kids that are middle school age, that, you know, that's where I have my experience teaching. I just love interacting with middle school age kids. When I look at the night sky in Arizona, I just, I see all the possibilities for our future, all the things that we have yet to discover out there, all the amazing things that we have yet to learn about our universe.